What is going on guys? Today we are looking at level up 2. So obviously we've got a new campaign of players. To be honest, I feel like it's it's a good promo. Don't get me wrong, I've enjoyed the upgrades and I think definitely a tester for next year. Obviously with a lot of their academy stuff that's going on. And I could imagine a lot more upgradable players as we've seen throughout campaigns of Road to the Final. Obviously Road to the Knockout, One to Watches, many many more that have got another upgrade on top. With these, though, I feel like the matches are a little bit excessive at the end of the game. And I get they are testing, but playing 150 to 200 matches in two weeks is just not going to happen. And especially putting on the fact you need to get the cards first is one of them. That being said, we're going to have a look and see who is worth it for this week if you are looking for a card. Obviously, we'll go for the first two that you can get, everybody can get for either free games or obviously spending a little bit of coins. It's going to be Arman Jimenez and also Thuran Torres. We have got Terrier and also somebody else that has escaped my mind coming already. So they're going to be in the next couple of days. I don't even know who the other one is. There's somebody else that, that is obviously already technically leaked in the objectives for who is coming for his upgraded version. Jimenez, on the other hand, though, obviously this one is one of the action shots we've got. So if you get the 92 from the objectives, you then have the chance to get a one of three action shot upgrade, which this is one of them. All three of them just have different dynamics. One is just a generic uh, kind of celebration with an eye patch. One is with a captain's hook. And we've got this one as the final one. There is no difference, so it is just literally a different dynamic, and that is it. Personally, I don't think he's a bad card whatsoever. Very easy to complete. Goes from a 92 to a 94. 4-star, four 5-star. Premier League, obviously Mexico. If you've got any Mexican players in your team, then obviously you've got some nice links there. I feel like pretty standard, though. In terms of strikers, we've got a lot of top-end ones now, and it will be hard to compete with the likes of Czech, the likes of R9 and Mbappe, the, the higher-end cards. If we are looking for the cheap ones, Czech is going to be probably the biggest comparison to anybody. He is one of the best strikers on the game at the moment. Lenfi Meta is in full effect with him. But I do think Czech, uh, Jimenez is probably more, or probably about right, in the A category for right now. Ferran Torres, though, the other side, a five-star, four-star in terms of a striker. Obviously coming in with a little bit more pace, nothing too crazy, and a lot more on the dribbling side of stuff. Again, he is an SBC, which is, I think, around about 110k at the recording of this video. So he is relatively cheap, not quite as much as Sterling, but he is... Again, a better striker than most in the La Liga. You've got, obviously, your Benzema's and also some top-end team of the seasons. But in terms of uh, kind of Barcelona, you've got Lewandowski, Dembele's the Cam. You've got, obviously, a De Jong that was from Shapeshifter. It seems to be anything other than the strikers at the moment. It is predominantly Lewandowski. So a great kind of partner that you could go with there. Obviously, the upgrade himself, you've got to do before getting, obviously, to the 94. Again, like Jimenez. So, in the objective, obviously, in the level up to objective, Jimenez, it states a 91 overall card that you've got to use. And for Ferran Torres, it's a 93 overall card that you're going to use. So, Ferran is one rating higher than, than what he should be. And Jimenez is one lower rating lower than he should be. So, I don't know if them actual objectives work. I believe they should do even a typo like that. It would be linked to the card, I can imagine. So double check down below if it is working. If not, it will obviously be working very, very soon. I'd like to tell you about skycoach.gg. They offer many features within the FIFA franchise, from FIFA coins to FIFA weekend league boosts, from trusted sellers, pro players, and are the best prices on the market currently. They have fast delivery, high quality services, lots of games, and also a cashback program. The more coins you buy, the more eligible you are for cashback options. So if you want to buy FIFA coins at the best price, click the link in the description of this video. It will be active promo code for 10% discount from my subscribers. All you have to use is the code JT11 at the checkout to receive this bonus. Onto the video. We then have the actual players from the team then. So, to be honest, let's start off with the best player in here. Obviously, it's going to be Armand Goretzka. 98 rated, a 4-star, 5-star. Don't know why he's not a 5-5. I feel like that would have been a perfect kind of opportunity to really give a solid Bundesliga card. 
Obviously, we've had quite a few decent uh, kind of Bundes now, and Kunku being a big one. Kimmich is obviously always there. You then got, what, Gnabry and Sane on the wing, Amane. You've got some really nice centre-backs as well. De Ligt being an amazing team of the season. So the Bundesliga, most leagues now, have, especially major leagues, have a big main team if you've got the coins. Musiala, obviously, and Bellingham being in that kind of trio at the moment as well. Obviously, with Goretzka, he's number one in the list at the moment. He is extinct at 2.9 mil. I can imagine that should go up a little bit in price and then more than likely crashes towards the end of the week. But a very solid card. And I think the one thing I saw going around on Twitter is, have we had another card this kind of late on into the game with 93 stats on every base stat? It's a, a great trivia question, but an absolutely monster overall. Obviously, we've always loved a Kimmich and Goretzka pairing, and this one has just elevated that to the next level. Imagine 97 Musiala. You've then got, what, 98 Goretzka, 97 Bellingham, I think he is, and then 96 Kimmich. It's an incredible midfield at this point. If then we go on to a couple of the uh, kind of cheaper cards, the lower cards, Atal is a great one for obviously the fact you can get him done in one game. So a nice upgrade. He has only got a plus one from his previous version, which is a 92 to a 93, very much like how Fakir was. Would get a couple that are on the lower sort of matches. You only have to play five or ten. And then obviously with Fakir last week, you could do it in one game. And so can Atal. I do think Atal is definitely one of the better ones you can get. He is currently coming in at a whopping if i can find his previous card 123k so not bad at all obviously be careful with it dropping you obviously well the best way to get it done is buy the card if you haven't got him untradeable do the objective one game sell the card you've got the 93 then for literally just tax really and then if you've lost some it you've lost some it i feel like to be honest you could argue you could argue S, whether I think he would be in terms of right backs. Obviously, I'm looking at the previous one from last week, which was an SBC, I'm pretty sure. We've then obviously got your Hakimis, your Rosalions, your Carfus going a bit further down. I can't even remember what the other one's name was. I know he was a French right back in Sedilia. He's a 93 upgrade, obviously was an SBC, so if you've done the SBC, you are entitled for the objective. Most of these cards now have 95 plus pace, so it's not even kind of an extra bonus there. I'd say the only thing with Atal, which is such a shame, is he didn't come during Shapeshifter. We love a center mid 5-star, five 5-star five Atal. This, unfortunately, is only a 4-star, five 5-star. Five you know what? In-game, he's going to be incredible. I feel like you could shove him into the midfield, and it'd still absolutely do fine. So, S category for him. We have then had a big upgrade on Martinelli, which is always nice. 96 rating, definitely coming in at the price as well at three and a half million coins at the moment, which is just absolutely nuts. And the only thing with him, he's still a four star, four star. This could have screamed for at least a five star skiller. At the end of the game, it's the final Martinelli card we're probably getting. I can't imagine any of the level up cards are going to be featured in footers. I'd imagine that's going to be the other half if we're going to get a big big promo of that but still an absolutely massive upgrade for him going from obviously is 93 i want to say he's had obviously pace wise is just a one upgrade on top we've then also got if i can have a look at the shooting three on the shooting four on the passing two dribbling three physical it's just a tidy upgrade for him now obviously the shooting was kind of the big upgrade he needed i think what only a plus three was it did i say only a plus three but what it does is it just finishes off this card, really. And it was the skill move and weak foot we needed the upgrade for, to be honest. He was, well, he still was a four-star, three-star. In fact, no, he is a five-star skiller. Why on earth did it say four-star, four-star? But this this version, so it might be the 94 that it's actually a 4-4. Four, four. This is a five-star, four-star. So fair enough. Okay, don't shoot the messenger. We misread it. But into, at least that, it's it's a nice card. I feel like with the left back, uh, left mids, Saka was kind of taking his position in terms of team of the season because obviously you could go with him left mid and then also have Salah right mid. Whereas now I feel like he's definitely cemented his position in that left mid. A couple of the lower ones we've got, obviously Barati, uh, Kalulu. Kalulu's not a bad card to be honest with him. He's He's got a good upgraded stats. 
but the amount of center backs we've got is just absolutely ridiculous so I, I feel like he probably could go into the A+. Plus. I wouldn't say he's somebody that I'd go out and buy right now. He is if you've not necessarily got all of the top ones. But in terms of Shapeshifter, we're seeing Team of the Seasons. We're seeing Shapeshifters for twenty to 60,000 coins. And they're going to be better. They're going to be at that same level or better. It's just one of them that it's an addition to the pile of centre-backs that we've got. Berardi, on the other hand... I've heard he's nice, but in terms of the controlled aspect, you are looking for the next sort of winger. And to be honest, with the amount of Vinny's, Mbappe's, uh, Rodrigo's, all of the left mids, right mids, Kovac, Skilia, and Liao, I feel like everybody's got them. I, I, it just seems to be every champs match, I'm going against a top left wing or right wing. Strikers, not as much. It is predominantly just Czech, but... I feel like wingers are pretty much done now. So he comes in realistically at a very bog standard price now for me. He is, what is he, a 5-star, 3-star, and the 93 on the upgraded. He is a 5-star, five 5-star, five so that isn't terrible, to be fair to him. But like last week, we got Corona, already a 5-5. Five five. So that is, again, not necessarily a big kind of move in power. Another one of the low ones, we've got Malin as a left wing this time. Don't know why they've changed him out of striker, to be honest. I felt like striker would have been a really nice kind of pairing now with him. Obviously, we got Werner last week. So another striker in the top elements for Bundesliga wouldn't have been a bad shout. Especially when we already have a Mane, a Sane, a Gnabry already on that left wing. And obviously a Royce as well. A striker is what's needed. But if he plays left wing, he plays left wing. We've obviously the upgrade. We've obviously now got a five-star, four-star version compared to a 4-4, four -four, which, again, never going to complain about. Nice little pace upgrade. Good dribbling. Physicality is not terrible as well. It's coming in at 510. And obviously, in terms of price for the previous version, which obviously is his 91, he is 46,500. So if you wanted to get him done, he isn't that much, and you won't lose that much profit or tax on this card to get the upgrade. So I feel like that's the best thing with this. It may not be great for Goretzka because realistically, if you've got, well, have you got a, a sniping button 2.9 mil liquid ready to go get Goretzka, which will definitely not pop up on the market. Whereas the lower rated cards, you can go and do a lot of these for very little, but some game time and obviously not lose too much on the tax. That being said, we are then have Enrique. Nice left back, pretty standard. Obviously, left back is the better position out of the right back as well. Also, actually, just because I've seen it on Enrique, Barardi also is a premium. Same as Atal, a premium uh, level up card. So he doesn't need any more links. So I suppose that's an extra bonus that you can get on him. With Enrique, though, he's obviously got himself the 94 as the premium, and then also a 92, which is coming in at 36 and a half. He is a five star, four star, but. He isn't touching Alfonso Davies. He isn't touching a Theo Hernandez at this point, especially if you've got them red. I would much prefer a red team in the season over Enrique personally. But if you are looking for a very cheap option and you don't necessarily grind the game massively, this is going to be a nice card, but not necessarily in that top category for me. Then we have a few others. In fact, we've got one more small card before we obviously go on. I feel like Dejalo, very much like Kalulu. Nice upgrade, is a standard center back. We saw him last year. Did he get a big upgrade? I want to say last year or something was, was rumored for him that obviously was going to be that next, next best thing. It was last year. He managed to get a footies, 93 rated as well. So that eh, swings and roundabouts. But in terms of this one, again, a big upgrade for him. Gone from an 81 in form all the way up to a 93. Solid. Absolutely solid. And then we have the three big ones. I'll start off with Nunez because this card, unfortunately, could have been great if we got him lengthy. Imagine, well, I don't want to imagine a Czech and Nunez lengthy partnership would have been absolutely crazy. He is currently coming in. I think he's extinct, as you could imagine. 1.4 mil extinct. He's a 5-star, 4-star at his 91 and a 5 five striker he would have been absolutely deadly as a lengthy striker i can remember at the start of the game when obviously lengthy was the real meta and he did have it on his gold card he would have been absolutely stupid 98 pace 92 shooting which 
predominantly is the long shots that's let him down. So that's at 85. So it does drop the rating a bit more. 96 composure. He's an absolute monster. He's going to be a great striker. If you can pick up a version of him, you're going to do absolutely well with him. And as well, with a Cavani link for level up, never going to be a bad one as well. Then we have the two French monsters, Chouameni and obviously Varane as well. With obviously both of these, I'm pretty sure they are coming in at a spectacular price. Chouameni is at 3.28 million, which is just nuts in himself. Varane is actually extinct at 13.3 million. Well, the 97 is going to speak for itself. It's going to be one of the best centre-backs we've had in the game. Obviously, they do like giving him a footage card. I think we got a 99 last year for his transfer. Yeah, we got a 99 premium footage last year for obviously his transfer. A 95 team of the season the year before that. He is going to be a monster. Absolutely scary to see him in that defence because we've already got so many top end centre backs. Now throwing another one in the mix. Imagine a five back with Varane, Maldini, Lucio, De Litt. The names are just endless with that, but that is going to be a freak of nature card. And Chuameni, 3.2 mil for the 94. We then go up to the upgrade of a three-star, five-star. Nothing crazy there, but the stats, again, are very DM-worthy. Coming in at 6-2, he, again, is going to be an absolute monster going through. So, absolutely big old units in that S line. Let me know down below if you managed to pack any. What are your thoughts on these? And to be honest, we should just get rid of the B category. Didn't think any was in there. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.